Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs. B, or if this is your first time here, hey, hello, welcome. My name is Paula. This, this is, well, this is my room, but this is my YouTube channel. Here I make videos about family, lifestyle, cooking, shopping hauls, grocery hauls, what's for dinner ideas, day in the life videos. You get a little bit of everything here on my channel. Today I'm going to be just sitting down and having a catch up with you, just pretend like you're in your house. No. We're in our houses together, we're in one house together, or we're at a coffee shop having some hot chocolate or whatever it is, you know, we're just sitting, chatting, so if you want to go get yourself a hot chocolate or a cup of tea, whatever you like, go and get it, come back, I'll be waiting. I'm still waiting for you, don't worry. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to chat, catch up, I'm going to tell you about what I've been up to for the last two weeks. If you've not noticed, maybe... Well, maybe you haven't noticed because your world doesn't revolve around me <laughs> like my world does. Um, but I've not been here on YouTube for two weeks. I did chat about it um, briefly on the community, com community, can't say that word today, <laughs> tab on my YouTube. Did you know I have a community tab? Mm. Um, but I did say over there that I wouldn't be making videos for two weeks, well uploading for two weeks um, because we had some stuff on. I also did talk about it on my Instagram stories but obviously I appreciate they disappear so if you don't see them then you don't know what's going on. <laughs> but I have been gone for two weeks and I'm going to chat, tell you where I've been, what we've been up to, what good stuff's been going on, what crap stuff's been going on. So if that sounds like, hmm, yes Paula I would love to know what you've been up to for two weeks then you go and get that hot chocolate and I will be here. So the first week, which was week commencing the 23rd, I think, of November, um, we actually had travel plans for that week, which were cancelled. So screw you, COVID. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Our plans were cancelled and I am so sad. We were going to be travelling down to, I think, Windsor? maybe I'm not going to see where we were going um just in case little ears are listening um don't want anyone to hear but we were going to go down there for a day experience and we were going to spend a couple of days down there because it's pretty far to travel um so we booked hotels and we booked the dog kennel and we booked the activity itself back in the summer and it all got cancelled because you guys in England, if I've got any English people watching, you guys in England just went into a lockdown. So it was closed. A lockdown until the 2nd of December and we couldn't go. So I was so sad. But to be fair, where we live in Scotland did actually go into a tier 3 for that week. And we technically were not allowed to travel out of our area. We're, you're allowed to travel for like work, school, uni, doctors, that kind of thing, but not for going to an activity or going on a holiday or that kind of thing. You weren't allowed to travel for that. So that happened after you guys went into your lockdown. So, you know, we couldn't go. So I was quite sad. Thomas cancelled um, everything, I, but he kept his holiday time off from work because he had holidays to use. So obviously you don't want to waste time. <laughs> and we just spent the week pretty much at home. I think Sky was still going to swimming club, that was still on for us even though we were in tier three. She was still um, at pony club, all that kind of stuff. So we did that. There wasn't a lot for us to do like, um, like we couldn't really go to the zoo or anything like that because we weren't allowed to travel outside of our area. So, you know, that kind of sucked. Um, but yeah, so we just kind of spent the week at home, kind of pottering about, watching Christmas movies, just spending time together, getting our schoolwork done. We hammered through our schoolwork. If you're like, what do you mean schoolwork, Paula? My kids are home educated. Um, so we just kind of call that schoolwork. They have their folders down here. We call it schoolwork, even though they don't go to school. So we plowed through a lot of that and got a lot of that done, which was good. And yeah, that was about it. Then that weekend we went into tier four here where I live, which means pretty much you're screwed, everything's closed, go home. <laughs> like no libraries, no like sports things, um, no traveling, no like restaurants, no toy shops, no nothing. Go home to your house. <laughs> so that has been fun this past week, but also this past week, our guy had an operation. He had that done on 
the end of November, I think it was the 30th, at the Children's Hospital in Glasgow. He had was having some work done on his mouth that he had been waiting a year for. So eventually he got to go and get that done. I did update that on my Instagram. Um, so Thomas also took that week off and we went through the hospital. Thomas stayed with the other kids, obviously. Um, and our guy had his work done. He had a general anaesthetic, but he was out. He was good. See, once he got over that kind of, like, if you've ever had a general anaesthetic, you know, you for like maybe like the first two hours or so, you're still pretty groggy. Like, no, but kids are fast, man. And he like pretty much after those two hours was like boom, and he was like almost good. And they said as soon as he could eat and he could walk, we could go home. So we went home maybe about four o'clock or something, Thomas came and picked us up from the hospital and we were good to go. So I don't think that was too bad, considering he had his operation about, maybe he was like 11 o'clock or half past 10 or something. So he was taken kind of early-ish and yeah, then we were home. And then we've just spent the past week, our guy has been recuperating from his operation. Um, the doctor said, give him a week at home, no school. <laughs> Me and her guy were like laughing because he doesn't go to school. Um, but she said a week at home, take it easy. So he has just been doing that. So he's been a lot better. I would say on the Tuesday, he was kind of like um, subdued still, but then, and he was, he has been in a lot of pain over the week, which is so hard. Like it's hard seeing your kid go for a general anaesthetic. It's hard. He had a pre-med before he went to surgery, so that was fun. Um, but that's hard. It's hard seeing them in pain and you can't really do anything apart from ply them with painkillers. So yeah, but he's been a lot better after like that first day. He's been like pretty much back to normal, apart from he's still been in pain in his mouth. But today, He's not had any painkillers today, a week out, so I think he's pretty much back to normal. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's it. So this week, this past week, we haven't really done much. We've stayed at home. We've done our Christmas school, which was has been so good. I have been loving it. I was like super excited there. Um, I was like, uh, Monica, Phoebe and friends. Ah! Um, yeah, if you've not seen that, I'm so sorry. That reference means nothing to you. I apologize. But we've been doing our Christmas school, which has been fun. That has been a unit study that I got from Gather Round. Let me see. I actually have it. Have it here. How handy. Um, and it's it's been really good. I bought the digital download. You guys won't be able to see it here. This 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 is just the kids worksheets. Like I have my own separate book that I use. I didn't print that out because I just read that from the computer. Um, but the kids have their own like student worksheets that they do in here and it comes in all different ages like different abilities so sky oh sky does slightly different stuff from what the boys do and the idea behind it is you teach the one lesson so everyone gathers round and i teach and then they kind of do their own separate work that they have in their worksheets so that's been super fun it's not um like super hard on the education kind of side of things it's more of a fun unit which has been good the kids have been enjoying that um we made gingerbread cookies not gingerbread gingerbread cookies no joke um we only did we've only did like four lessons there's only 12 lessons in it and you're meant to do four a week for the three weeks leading up to christmas so what have we done we've done that we watched a movie it's it focuses it's very biblical so if you're not in jesus then it's not for you um it's all about the christmas story um so the lessons we've done have been mary joseph uh, the census and john the baptist so we looked more at them their stories um but it's, it has been quite good and i paid 35 us dollars for the download for it but it's yours to keep so oh that was heavy there wasn't it um so the download is yours to keep so you can keep it for every year so next year i don't need to buy it again i've got it and just print off the worksheets and the stuff for next year next year they'll all have moved up into different levels for the student workbooks so that's cool so it'll be slightly different next year and that's really i think what we've been up to guys we've just been staying home not really much to do. Our guy has been recuperating, plowing on with the Christmas school. Um, and that's been about it, guys. We're also doing the Book of Luke this year. We try and do that every year. Sometimes it doesn't always happen. Um, 
we get like halfway through <laughs> so if you're like what's the book of luke the book of luke in the bible um in the new testament and it actually has 24 chapters in it so if you read one chapter every day in december and it is the seventh today so you guys could catch up um if you wanted to do it so if you read one chapter a day every day and then run up to christmas by the time christmas day comes you will have read a full account of Jesus' birth, his life and his death, which is pretty cool in just 24 chapters. But anyway guys, I am going to head out now. Thank you so much for joining me for this little chit chat video. It was good to catch up with you. You can't leave a comment because YouTube really doesn't like me and comments are off on my channel. So if you want to chat with me, you can chat with me on Instagram. You can chat with me over on my blog, a shameless plug. You can also chat with me. I have a Facebook page. You can chat with me in all these places. Um, I always respond to messages and comments as long as they ain't spam. So if you want to chat with me about this video or just in general, you can come chat with me. And yeah, that's about it guys. I hope you guys are having a good week. Well, it is Monday, but I hope your week starts off well. I, I know some people don't like Mondays. I love a Monday. Absolutely love a Monday. I think it's like the start of the week, the time to start afresh. Um, I love I love Mondays. Maybe that's because I don't have to go out and go to work or don't have to go out and take my kids to school when it's snowy and icy outside. But, uh, you know, I like a Monday. <laughs> but I will catch you in my next video, guys. I have a couple of videos planned for you for the next couple of weeks. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I will see you in my next one. And I will catch you then, guys. Bye!